We welcome in head coach John Gruden. And coach, all week you talked about earning it. Seven games on the road. Now you get a chance for three in a row at home the final quarter. Tell us how you're feeling. Well, we have to take care of business. You know, we sacrificed a lot to get to this point. Uh, as you said, seven games on the road out of the first 12. has been a tough, tough way to go about it. We've had some injuries, uh, but here we are playing in Vegas. Wish it was packed with fans, but uh, our guys have had a good week of practice, and we're ready to roll against a very good Colt team. Let's talk about their defense. Buckner up front, and these linebackers really are good in space. They travel to the ball. They tackle well. Yeah, Leonard, number 53, is a great linebacker. He never comes off the field. Wherever the ball is, you'll find number 53. And it all starts up front, as you said. DeForest Buckner is a difference maker. The X Raider, Danico Autry, is playing great. And the secondary, much improved with the addition of Xavier Rhodes, a former Viking. Uh, he stabilizes them. They've got a nice blend, I think, of youth and veteran experience, and Matt Eberflus, the defensive coordinator, does a great job. We see a familiar foe in Phillip Rivers again, still dangerous as ever, paired up with head coach Frank Wright. Coach, how does he look on film? He looks like Rivers. You know, he's uh, throwing it quick. He's got great anticipation and touch. Uh, he is battling through a toe injury. They've had some injuries at left tackle. But the rookie Taylor, the running back, helps them. They've got some balance. This kid, Hines, number 21, can do a lot of things. And they still have T.Y. Hilton, a great receiver, who's really hot right now. So we're going to get a really good 8-4 Colt team at their best, I believe. Coach, I've never missed a Rivers game. San Diego Carson, now he comes into Vegas. And what I like about him is he doesn't like the Raiders. It's old school football. He respects the opponent, but he doesn't like this team. That should fire up your team to see him maybe one last time and see him in your building. Well, you better be fired up because he's going to unload on you. He's going to talk a lot of trash. <laughs> You're right. He has a personal disdain for the Raiders. He's won 18 times in this series, and we swept them last year. I'm sure he's bitter about that, plans on uh, resolving that. But uh, we're going to have to be at our best because they can do a lot of things, running and passing and with the play action. Coach, you always talk about availability. Getting healthy for the stretch run is so important. How optimistic are you with the players that you have returning? I used to be real optimistic, JT. Uh, now I'm becoming more realistic. And until I see these guys start practicing on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, I'm going to be uh, very skeptical of them playing and playing well on Sunday. Right now, we're excited to have Trent Brown back. It looks like he's going to go. Uh, Josh Jacobs will find out later today. The same with John Abram. We all know Arnett probably out of this game, as is Jeff Heath. So uh, we got a number of passengers that won't make this flight. Coach, the Raider Nation is fired up here in Vegas, all over the world. Good luck against the Colts. Thank you.